Okay, take a look at the Rydler three channel dash cam. So it comes with a micro SD adapter, so you can put a micro SD card into a standard SD card slot. Oh, that's interesting. So this is the suction cup mount and the GPS. So that's pretty rare. I've never seen one like that. So it's got the GPS built right in, so you don't have to find another spot for it. That's actually a very good idea. We got the contacts right there, so as soon as you attach a dash cam, it will just work. Oh, that's interesting. And the GPS module is also part of the suction cup. So whenever you stick that onto the windshield, just give it a twist, and that will lock it to the windshield. That's a cool design. It does also rotate as well as tilt. We have a car outlet adapter to supply power to it, and that is a USB-C plug. And this is the cool thing about these cameras is that they also come with a hard wire kit. So we can use either this, if we just want to plug the thing in and get it running right away, or if we're willing to do a little bit more work, we can plug this in, run that up to the dash cam, and then we won't have to worry about using a port in the car. All the wires are color coded correctly. So it says ACC, so this is accessory. Yellow is the battery. So this is constant power, this is accessory power, and then we have our ground. And both of our power leads are already fused. Now it looks like we also have a USB plug. So we actually have three different ways that we can power this camera. We got a trim tool in here so that we can pull that trim back to run those wires and we have clips to hold the wires in place. We have our rear camera with a very long cable so even if you have a long car still be able to make this work with it. And here is the dash cam. So we got our controls here on the bottom we got a mic right there. If we flip this over, we can see what each one of those buttons are. So we got power, OK, left, right, and menu. And this is the cool part. So we actually have a camera pointing into the cab. So we got a camera pointing forward, we got a camera pointing back, and we can rotate that to best accommodate wherever we need to point it. On the top, we got our mounting point. We got audio video, so this is going to be where the rear camera goes. DC, so that is for the power. And on the right side, we got our reset button, and we got a micro SD card. And this comes with a 64 gigabyte UHS-3 card. So the last thing is the manual. And that is a nice full color manual as well. So always glad to see that. Plenty of details. That is awesome. So by default, we got the front camera here on the left. We got the cab camera on the top right, and we got a rear camera on the bottom right. And we can cycle through those displays. So if we only want to see, there is the rear camera, there is the front camera, and that is the cab camera. So right there, it shows that the mic is on. If we want to mute that, we just hit left. You can see it has canceled the sound. If we go to menu, and adjust resolution, loop recording, WDR, G sensor, Oh, I'm going to go in there. So right now, basically, if it feels a bump, it's going to automatically save that file into a spot that's not going to be overwritten. Now, if you got a lot of bumps on the road, that can actually be a problem. You can turn that to low. Or if you want a very high sensitivity, you can turn that all the way up. I'm going to put mine on low. Parking guard, record audio. We can change the date and time. Image rotation. So if the camera is flipped upside down, we can accommodate that. We got Wi-Fi, date and time, screensaver, beep sound. So if you want to hear that beep. Language, lamp setting, frequency. So if you're dealing with LEDs or something like that, it has a flash on it, and you can change the frequency right here from 50 hertz to 60 hertz. I'm going to format the card, default settings, check the version, or connect to the app. What I'm going to do is try to line that up so it's as straight as I can get it, and then suction that down. 